Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay's amazing space comedy simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we have been on the LZ Alpha now for 1644 cycles. The cycle count is growing. We have taken 13 duplicates. It's grown over time, all the way this far into the future, to the point where we have space age technologies. We have been collecting some resources down here, and I was planning, I was planning to use them to come down and uh, build a whole bunch of auto mining stuff so we can start getting the lava flowing down below again to get the heat pump working and power my base back up because you know that's how we power our base by using lava to melt petroleum yeah that's exactly what happens but unfortunately the uh, the properties of these materials wasn't quite as good as I was hoping for nobium being the uh, the material the the metal that we have of the highest heat uh, resistance at the moment as you see his melting point is a massive 2400 not much has a temperature as high as that it grants materials that we build with 500 degrees extra uh, overheat temperature but unfortunately down below we can see that that's that's there's nowhere even near enough like we're, we've got like 1100 degrees down here like 570 is not even half of that so yeah we, we got to think about uh, some sort of cooling system down here i think i mean it's pretty hot down here anyway and we do have this whole system um maybe we could usurp that i think what i'm going to do first is to move this guy across over this way because not not only will that give me room for another aqua tuna if I want it, I'm not sure whether over here is where I want it, but with, uh, I could also then build a molecular forge in its place. A little bit of remodeling needs to be done, but th this is what this is what I need. Given the pipe dynamics in this room, actually, the, we're not going to be able to move it here. We're going to have to move it at most here. Ooh, the automation is scary looking over here. <laughs> Okay, whilst this building goes underway, we are going to have to run a bypass. Thankfully, we're at the point where it's cool enough that it doesn't actually need any uh, cooling itself at the moment. The thermal aqua tuna is off. Let's just cut that like that. And all of this should now flow through. We'll build up a little bit of a stockpile in this liquid liquid reservoir. And uh, hopefully, we'll have a smooth transition over to this other thermal aqua tuna here. Ooh, I I'm worried, though. I'm a little bit worried. This is this is the real reason why I needed to do it. I can't I can't put this bridge here with this bridge in place. So uh, bye bye. Okay, last little touch is going into place. So we've managed to reroute the pipes around. Maybe we've even earned ourselves a little bit more uh, space in here. Uh, I've also noticed that this 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 monstrosity is a thing. So I'll have to uh, try and figure out what to do about that. It used to be the overflow from the water up the top here, uh, but you know th things are things are pu pulling out of there. That's that's all good. That's all Oh, fine. I'm going to at least clear them out of this area as they're just really not needed. And I want to know, I want to know how much space do we need for the, I was here somewhere, the molecular forge. We need more space than this. Oh, I'm a little bit worried that actually we need that much space. Oh, never knew that items fell down slower in water. I wonder if that's usable. And maybe some sort of timing device. I mean, we could put put a chute at the top and then a little pressure plate at the bottom. Yeah, it could be could be something. All right, that's some space cleared. Let's try and put down this bad boy finally. Okay, we've got some room. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, where are we going to power this from? I am tempted to just take it off the same line as the generators, but, you know, that's that's not really a very good idea. I suppose I am doing it everywhere, though. All right, why, why break a habit? Let's do it. All right, here it goes. It's probably the first time I've actually built one of these. I don't really do all that much with the space normally. I'm normally, like, trying to figure out the oxygen system. So here we go. I mean, it's taken a while. It's taken a very... There is there is a little bit of a bar under there, but of course, downtime. Oh. All right, Mimi's coming back in. If we could get this finished this time, that would be great. If I could just get some sort of indication, I suppose I could cancel the sweep orders, but I I, I don't think that's a good idea. I think we need to tidy this place up. Decide for coming down to... Uh, well, I always like to play a game. Is he here to steal the dirt, or is he here to uh, stroke the slickster? I don't know. We're going to find out. And it turns out he's stroking the slickster. Come down to the quiet corner of the base for that. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I really want to start uh, digging up underneath here again. I'm going to do one more move forward. Ah, oh, we've got a, a blocked door. I think the, the way I'm going to actually deal with all this is I'm going to start extracting the gas out of here. 
here. But of course, before we can do that, I need to have a chill little area to do said thing. So I think we're going to set up the cooling area over here and then try and put the pump right on top of the cooling loop so that it's not instantly overheating. I'm sure it will still overheat, but maybe not instantly. Okay, over here we have... Oh, it's still it's still going. Halfway. Halfway. Do, do, you, reckon, do you reckon we could get someone with some building skills involved here? If we move you over there... No, you're just straight back at it. Okay, it's done. What can we make with it? Super corner is where I'm headed, but we need to think about this make some... Fullerene. But we've got insulation and visco gel. Two things that I do actually want to get hold of. The visco gel, I am definitely going to make myself, I don't know, let's say 10 units of it. What's it going to go through here? Iso resin and petroleum. Hmm, it'll be interesting to see where they get that from. That uses, oh, that's a lot. That is a lot of my iso resin. Okay, let's think about this again. How about if we just have. I mean, we need at least two, right? Well, it's useless without it. I will show you the wonderful properties of Visco Gel in a moment. Go have a quick look inside this printing plot. I've not had a look in here. Let's see if we got supplying, researching, and ranching. This girl sounds pretty good. Shuffles as well. This is this is this is a decision, but we're gonna go with this guy over here. Greg Williams, welcome to the group. I've just found out that, well, I just found, found out a couple of weeks ago that you're watching this series and you don't have any idea what's going on. Welcome. <laughs> okay, cool. The problem now is that we don't have the ability to move this rocket any further on. If we uh, take control of this, show the star map, uh, you can see that we, we, we cannot go anywhere because we do not, do not have the fuel. It's oxidizer that we're waiting for right now, but eventually we will tap these uh, these little asteroids down the bottom here dry. In fact, these are the only two asteroids we can reach right now. This top asteroid over here, I believe maybe, just maybe, we could reach with this guy if, if, no, if we attach some more solid th fuel thrusters underneath. And so that is what I'm going to do. We are going to try and push back our rocket boundary because I want to get this research done. If you can see, we, we're, we're trying to work our way through the different combustion chambers here. This one is the oxygen combustion this one is going to be uh the petroleum engine and some solid oxidizer tank mm, i didn't know that was a thing so that must be here. these three all working together and eventually you work onto cryofuels we're using liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen to propel thyself to the very edge of the star map and that is exactly what we're going to be trying to get to today but of course you know it takes me a long time to do all these things so we'll see how long it takes for me to do these things what's the thing about it let's get forrest out of this one we don't we don't need him to be sat on standby in this car cargo capsule. The one that we really want him to be going with is the, is the research. Because if we come in here, you can see that we are missing some interstellar research for opening up this technology here. Press the wrong button. And if I come down to the main base and have a look in here, it's saying that we are insufficient resources of a data bank. Down here, contents zero. And it's not just because we're waiting for people to transport stuff. It's literally that we don't have it right now. So I'm digging out the area underneath so we can move the steam engine down one, put in a solid full fuel thruster, and hopefully send this guy off onto the further out areas here. Got this metallic asteroid and this oily asteroid. Once we have unlocked the better better engines, I'm hoping we can then swap out these engines here underneath the uh, cargo module and go and get some better materials. I'm not sure what counts as better materials, but they're, they're, they're bound to be out there, right? We've got an old x-ray, by the way. We know what we're doing with these artifacts that we find in space. We're coming down to the area. Oh, I've done it already. Look at this. Beautiful. Uh, we're building a pedestal, and then we are going to place an old x-ray upon it. If not the actual item, we're going to place an order for the item to be delivered. I wonder if anyone is going to be getting on it. Let's, let's just crank it up. Crank it up. Mad Frank on the way. Good work, my friend. Good work. We also want to get rid of all these mesh tiles. Mm-hmm, that spread some decor around, though. I'm gonna have to share a little secret with you. Which one is it over here? The one that looks like a flower, of course. It's it's not it's not doing great. Even even with this pedestal and space artifact here, we've still got a total decor of minus 59. It is, of course, because we've got this power spline here. I, we could probably even move them back and put them in a room. What's going on? Why why are we getting lots of fleeing? Is it you, legit? Is it you? Are you trying to? Are you trying? You're gonna die. You're gonna die. All right, he's out and he's away. Hopefully, he's gonna go down to the uh, to the triage cot. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. Um, these guys are a bit aggy. Oh look. Oh oh, we we. We've done a small pro. Hey, Greg, 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 Greg. You should totally be inside one of these rooms. There we go. Don't don't be in a cot. Come and get into an atmosphere, Doc. 
Okay, as a quick experiment, I went and pushed these back behind the wall like I said I would, and we can see that the decor has indeed improved quite a lot. So I've asked for all these others to be improved like that as well. Also at the top here, I have destroyed everything underneath the, uh, the, the, the research modules, and we're starting to build some steam engine here. I'd also like to be able to put this one here, uh, the solid fuel booster, but unfortunately, unfortunately, and until the bottom one gets built, I can't, I can't even put that down. I mean, Miss is on it right now, so that's cool. So I've just gone through the printing pod and we got ourselves two snazzy suits, but it looks like we've actually got three snazzy suits lying around. So let's do a quick uh, quick check on our vitals up here. I want to know who's doing the worst at morale. Wise, my friend. How are you? Oh man, you haven't even got any skill points to say or something? Or are you zero out of six? Wild wise, there you are. No, you've literally got nothing done. Okay, all right. So let's uh, let's make you a doctor because you're very good at the doctoring. Let's do that. Uh, and I think maybe some some improved carry skills probably wouldn't go amiss as well. And that then tops out the amount of morale we need. And to do so, I mean, advanced medical care has to be the thing, right? Gorgon Opsid, my friend, you are also going around just doing a little bit of ranching. So let's give you a ranching hat. And Greg, Greg Williams, you are going to be a researcher. This is, this is of course, things that we're working on. Research and carrying gets you to be a rocket pilot. So uh, big thumbs up there. Oh, look, Forrest can put a rocket hat on. Rocket man. What does, what does that even do for us? What does it even do for us? Anyway, anyway, uh, let's put Forrest in one because actually he seems to be struggling a little bit there. Uh, and, and who else? Who else is doing bad on the morale? I mean, Wise has got 19 out of 9, so let's go give him another one. Or I could be reading that back to front. Let's not do that. Uh, Decipher, totally maxed out. Legit. Ooh, one, one over, one over. We, we got anyone who's who's actually suffering. Like Mad Frank, 16 out of 21. I think he might need one. Mad Frank, 16 out of 21. I don't know if that's going to be good enough to help, but th th there you go. Gra grab some of that. Okay, engine in place. Booster being asked to to make. I was going to say cook for some, set for some reason there. Oh, well. Okay, the Grand Rocket has been built. We're waiting for the steam to come down and in. And I've also just realized that maybe, maybe we're running... No, 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 we're all right. We've got 800 kilograms of steam in there. We're doing okay for now. I'm going to ask people to come along and dig this bottom layer of regolith out here. Maybe we don't want these ones, but that's okay. Just so that we can start clearing the rocket out. I'm fairly sure we could just let it go and then the, everything would end up down there. Maybe we could even put an auto miner down here and that would just pick everything up. Yeah, that might be an idea for in a bit, but I... I need that research. We gotta get going. Go. Also wondering how much ox like we got over a thousand, over a ton. That's nice. That's nice. No, oh, hey Frank, you are not the person I thought would be up here, but cool. Why is it so bad down here? Maybe this power line going through. Yeah, look at that. Minus 250 heavy watt wire. Okay, let's try and move this down to the floor then. I mean, there's only a whole host of reasons why it won't work. Ugh. A little bit, but not much. Wow, look how much the heavy watt wire affects it down here. That is, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Why is there no oxygen? Oh, seriously, what, why, 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 why? This, this should be running fine. Why is it not running fine? What's your problem? There is a distinct lack of water in the pipes. How long are you dormant for? 25 cycles. Oh, no. And there's another one down here that's also feeding us relatively warm water. Back up this way. Hey, how are you? Oh, you're almost so dormant. 15 cycles. Mmm. Not great. I mean, I'm going to drop the pump down one and the and the hydro sensor, but that's not 15 days worth of water there. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. I mean, I believe we're getting some water cleared out here, and that should be going into the nice system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are pretty well backed up. Okay, I... Hmm. I mean, are we, are we turning this back on again? Are we turning this back on again? The thing is, we've got plenty, plenty of oil water. There's just nothing going up top. After committing a few design horrors, I'm hoping that actually what's going to happen here is our relatively cool water is going to come up. And if there is no water flowing through the hot pipes already, it will add upon that. That should hopefully keep us in water. It's a little bit too, a uh, little bit too little, a little bit too late, but we're just going to have to try. We're just going to have to try. Else we just let everybody run out of oxygen. Oh no. 
something's happened down here. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what it is. I, I, I was told that Cop Delta Captain Suggs was uh, scolding. That's fine. That's fine. But where has all this water come from? Where'd the water in here? Well, obviously it came out of there. But what, 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 what is going on here? What is going on here? Have we got something incredibly hot under this? No, they're all 70s and 80s. Not that hot. Okay, day two of no suits being accessible. Hopefully the what, the uh, pipes get made today. Oh, it'd be really good if they were. Okay, so the liquids are now flowing. After doing all the other jobs first, any excess water will come up here and be added to this. Obviously added as an afterthought, the main water flow will take priority. Okay, while we wait for this to go, let's go and have a look at our little rocket over here. I wonder if it's failing because we don't have an oxygen supply. That could be the case, but let's try and do this here, shall we? Because I need to get me some... Oh, there we go, forest, if you could. I uh, need to get some research. Definitely need to get that research underway. Let's show that star map. Let's have a look. Too far? Oh, no. It's because we haven't got the oxidizer in there yet. Okay, it took far too long, but there's the oxygen back up and running. So we had the age-old uh, problem of not having a gantry across to deliver the solid fuel. Uh, it's a problem that I seem to run into more than once, so I should really remember about it by now. Making more oxalite over there. Beautiful, beautiful. Just waiting for the final delivery of the uh, of the iron ore, actually. Uh, the actual iron, sorry, not, not iron ore. They dropped oxalite on the floor. It's because of downtime, so I have called a quick batch of yellow alert. I, I just want to get those oxalite pit. Ah, oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. But anyway, this should enable people to come along and top her up. Is this even something that's going to go on? I'm not entirely sure. Let's turn this back to normal and uh, let these guys get some sleep. Oh, oh, oh. It was, was it enough? Was it enough? The gantry pulled back. Why, why, why? Okay, launch, uh, launch path blocked. That's fine. These things are going to fall out of the way. I think maybe. I think maybe we are on our way into space. All right. Go Godspeed, Mr. Forest, because that's obviously what we say in a technologically advanced civilization. Oh, that, that hang up there was quite extreme. Look, we melted the regolith. We melted the regolith. Oh, that is amazing. That is very cool. Also, we melted some wires and stuff, I think. Let's, uh, let's press that and have a look. It's something. And so they are on their way. 1% of journey done. Six cycles. Six cycles to get to the oily asteroid. So my plans to cool this down are going to start up here. We're going to go with the power. We're going to come down to the, where is it, steam turbine here. And I'm just going to try and drop this bad boy right on top of here. What can, what, what can we give it? Iron is probably the, the better one we can give. I'm going to pop that down like that. I do intend to eventually spread out a whole bunch of them. Not only am I out of materials and I didn't realize so, but also I want to see how well this actually ends up working. We have a real opportunity to kill two birds with one stone here. As you can see, the steam turbine is flooded, but also we don't have water underneath. So we can take advantage of this and hopefully by putting a mesh tile down, we won't drop all these materials through to the floor and also uh, provide ourselves with some liquids. That, that, that should work out for us, right? Okay, the liquid flows. It's a little bit more than I was expecting. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing steam coming back. I think we're going to have to put that in now and be like, okay, that, that will do, right? Right, that that will do. Come on, come on, guys. Oh no, downtime. No, 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 no. That's too much heat exposed to the base. All right, let's uh, let's get people in to fix this. No, all right, okay, we're gonna have to hit red alert. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Not 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 something I really like to do all that often. Three times in the base so far, I think. But there we go. We've now filled this up with steam. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. This should now. I mean, a little bit too much came through this way. We'll uh, we'll deal with this in another manner at some point. I'm sure this crushing mechanism will do most of the work for us. Okay, I feel like we're mostly fine now. I've asked people to go in and open up the chimney. We've got a little bit of an issue with the steam not being hot enough, but literally as we're talking, it's all warming up. So I think that's not going to be a, uh, a, a, a constant problem. Another thing that I have done here is I have set up a little bit of a runway for some other cooling liquids to go so that we can keep this area nice and chill as well, because of course this will be producing its own heat and we, we don't really want that we don't really want that now the real question is will this actually do any cooling like is this bringing the temperature of this lead down then i think the temperature of the lead is going up 
So I'm looking at the heat reservoir that is the uh, the rocks down here, and honestly, there's not a great deal of heat around. As soon as my cursor moves again, you can see that like down here we got about 220s there. That's probably the hottest we've got. We've got some obsidian that's been holding onto a lot of heat as well, but mostly, but mostly it's all coming in at about 170, which would not be hot enough, I don't think. 125 is kind of the the the, the minimum we're going to be able to get things down to in here. But of course, as that happens, I'm going to start ripping everything out and if we can just keep this somewhat flooded with steam we can uh, eventually take out this entire area and then start trying to do the same down here and maybe that will start cooling down this sour gas enough for us to be able to start working in there End of cycle 1662, 64% through with the mission. I need to figure out how we're going to be getting some more plastic, because it turns out we are running a low. The uh, slow trickle that we have had up here. Oh, well, hey, you can you can be free, my friend. Be free. Uh, looks like we're getting a few too many. Where are you going to be going to? It, uh, I've asked for three max critters, but I'm not sure where they're getting dumped. Oh... Do you want to know one of the things that melted? Oh, that's that's not great. We're gonna to need to connect that up. It's the uh, the the rocket detector. Oh, are we close to that? We we we're gonna to need to throw that one. We are gonna to need to throw that one. The cipher and lunar cop appear to be the two that are on the job. I'm really really hoping that this goes well. It's now morning, and morning was the time the rocket went flying. Uh, okay, are we good now? Have those two been done? Those two have been done. Okay, is the door opening? The door is opening. Let's let's let the, door, the game go again. Looking for that rocket space mission complete. All right, cool, cool, cool. That, that That's amazing. That is really good. Good timing. Good timing. It was a good job that I looked. Ah, when I did. Turns out it still wasn't good enough. Just going to... Just gonna slam those back in place. <laughs> oh no, the meteors have started. Even though I'm on top, top, top alert, we're waiting for G Greg here. Greg, where you, where are you going? Oh no, you, you're not gonna make it all the way around like that, buddy. It, it's really just not gonna happen. Okay, I'm hoping that because it's just a small, oh, we're not gonna get hit by one of those. But you know, you know, one's gonna be coming in here. We're just gonna have to keep an eye out and see what happens. There's not much we can do other than what we are doing right now. Also, we're gonna have to get Mimi out of her suit at some point. I didn't realize she was still wearing one. The ladder's going in. The ladders, sorry, going in place should provide a much quicker route without having to go through all this uh, th this obstacle course of uh, nasty rocks falling from the sky. I don't know. They might be nice rocks. You know, they're, they're very pleasant to hang out with. Oh, no, here comes another one. That's a lot of meteor damage. The, the rocket didn't seem to care, though. The rocket didn't seem to care at all. Oh, I bet the Cypher would care quite a bit if he got hit by one of those, though. Oh, yes. Oh, did Luna give up halfway through? Oh, everybody seems to be giving up halfway through. I guess they are out in the vacuum of space. Please no, please no. Okay, everything's going all right over there. Mild panic-induced stations. <laughs> Mimi taking the sensible route of going up via the ladder. Okay, all right. We, we are now now have the emergency under control. All right, Jelly getting his research on. I'm a little suspicious that it's Jelly. Where's Forrest? Let's go back and have a look. Hey, back up here. Uh, Forrest, yeah, you, you, you can get out of there now. Good, good work, buddy. Good work. Of course, we will have to be going back to this oily asteroid as we only got three of the two, um, uh, sorry, three of the five, leaving two left, of the material studies. But uh, we, we got to wait for steam. Quick status check on what's going on down below. 180 degrees steam has made its way up here now, and the tile underneath, it was 200 last time I looked. It's 189 now. Wonderful, wonderful. What happened to my ISO resin? Well, anyway, the visco gel has not been made. I'm not sure entirely why, if I'm to be honest with you. Maybe it's been... I don't know, we've got, no, we've got none there now. None at all. I wonder what I did with it. Anyway, a quick temperature check, 188. Yep, it's definitely going down. It is definitely going down. And 240 research points. That's definitely going up. I've dropped the liquid pump down one tile just so we can get the very last of this liquid out of here. And hopefully all of that is going up to providing us with some... Some oxygen because the pipes are empty again. The pipes are absolutely empty. If we come back with the F6, you can see that over here the bypass um, is also empty. That's that's why our pipes are empty. Oh no! Just as I thought we were going to be done with the episode, we've run out of data banks. What? So now the question has to be asked: Do we go back to the oily asteroid to get the? The, the two remaining, or do we go to the metal asteroid to get three? I think we're going to go to the uh, to the metal asteroid to get three. 
Okay, here we go. Sending them off for the last mission. I think we went to the other asteroid. Let's go and have a look. Yep, onto the other asteroid this time. Good luck, Mr. Forrest. I hope everything works out pretty well for you. It's a good launch. It's a strong launch. I'm loving it. Look at it. Beautiful. All right, the space scanner has triggered. This must mean at some point the rocket is coming back. I'm not sure how long it, it takes from the triggering. We only have the one space scanner, so I'm assuming it's not that long to wait. I'm just waiting for the uh, space mission complete reading at the top. If I click on the star map and have a look, we're at 99. We're at zero out of six cycles. It should be coming any moment now. Oh, that was a longer moment than I was really expecting. Still waiting for it, though. We've had the little, uh, the little mission pop up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're, right, we're melting anything. Has anything been melted? I have replaced a lot of stuff with steel, so I'm kind of hoping it will work. How did you see all that stuff drop? Did you see all that stuff drop? Also, you guys seen this over here? I noticed this last time when we were just kind of clicking through, uh, and uh, I, I spotted this at the floor. Let's let's get let's get Forrest out of here. He doesn't want to be in there anymore, and he can go around and do some of the. No, no, you're not. Okay, I really wanted you to come and get the data banks. To be honest with you, Forrest. But let's go down to the main area down here because obviously the whole purpose, the whole purpose is to get this virtual planetarium ticking over. Who who's on the jobs? Who's on the jobs? Turns out it's low priorities. <laughs> All right, here comes a whole gaggle of crew. To go around and start doing some stuff in particular oh it turns out we're picking up iron and restoring this i was kind of hoping that the data banks would get moving or perhaps even this tornado rock would get moving but it turns out oh here we go all right legit i'm gonna i'm gonna follow you we're gonna uh, follow cam we're gonna do this okay legit is taking this brand new artifact we've got it from the very depths of space well we got it from a from a space rock actually and we now have now have hopefully as long as we can click on the wrong right thing you look at this some nice decor spilling out i think we could probably do with some more up here maybe box these guys up as well but there we go nice corridor going down all right looking over this way do we have any data banks yet still still no data banks greg williams looks like he's bringing the whole lot from it yeah there we go there we go so now we just need people to come along and do some research no more pending deliveries that means all we need to do is wait for yeah there we go this little bit of research to get done the lead at the bottom of the cooling area now down to 150. That's pretty cool. I'm waiting for the moment to, for us to uh, break into this crude oil patch here. As you can see, it normally would support a, uh, a mass of 900 kilos. We have got 1,200 in there, so it's definitely going to come spilling up and over when we do so. I'm uh, kind of okay with that actually. I, I'm not. I'm not in. Uh, I'm not. I'm not seriously annoyed with it. I think. I think the, the bit of crude oil coming out and spilling over would do well for chilling down the entire area in here. Or rather, we would chill down the, the crude oil which would then chill down everything it touches and the 250s are down to about 220 okay that's cool that's cool as you see we're kind of tracking down the last bits of research i need like three more bits to go we're getting pretty close on the amount of data that we actually had available to us and boom just like that we have got an unlocked petroleum engines liquid fuel tanks and the solid oxidizer tank we will be dealing with that next time and i'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time we're going to work on that petroleum engine we're going to see hopefully that this area down here has been cooling down. We're at 150 now, so that's looking pretty good. But I will see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye!